Hi everyone. So, uh, yes, uh, this is the same series that is Google Forms, and today we'll be discussing how this form settings can be changed, or how what are the form settings available within Google Forms. So, uh, this is one of the major aspects of Google Forms, and why this form is useful for all the professionals, and this must be used. I again recommend and emphasize strongly that this is one of the major benefits of Google Forms as uh, it is a cloud software and available with different features so you must use it let's see what are the different settings available and i will also discuss the benefits within the different settings select a blank form settings i've just changed the name of the form so uh, this right top corner has uh, this wheel button which is called a setting it is a common icon so I believe it's uh, easily understood click on this and see you have got three different options the general option within this has uh, all these options so let's discuss all these one by one the very first thing is you need to tell or uh, you do have the luxury of collecting email addresses from the respondents so there are two ways of submitting or reviewing this form. Either you can send over this form to all employees your, or all team members regardless if they have an email address within Gmail or not. The other thing is you would like to restrict respondents to only one response. So for this you also would like to collect email addresses so that you can be aware of the respondent and the response from each individual. So you what you can do is you have to click here and this will only allow each respondent to make sure that they are providing you their email addresses response recipients means uh, if respondent requested or always these are the two options available so the response from this form can also be shared with the recipients you can uncheck this the other option which is uh, important is you have to limit the response or the preview to only one response each individual can only fill this form once with this specific email address and if the email address is changed he'll be allowed to fill it only the next options are respondents can edit after submit or see some recharts and tax responses this is not a preferable option in many of the cases that uh, the respondents can edit after submit although this can be used if you are doing some survey or something within the same team for no good or professional purposes like for example if uh, this is in related to some party events or maybe some events within the organization you can do this and if the form is shared with the stakeholders only but normally this is not an option which should be used for each form the second option within respondent scan is see summary charts and text responses this is i believe also should not be used very sufficiently because uh, this will allow everyone to sh see the response or the result from this quiz form or whatever you have made the second category we have here is presentation this will let you select different features how your form or the progress will look like so this is a, a better option when you are conducting an in-house exam or an entry exam within the organization or some certification exam within the organization or within your institute so the recipients or the filler or the providing agency or the providing individual will see how much the form is completed and how many are left so this progress bar is helpful you can also shuffle the order of the question and lastly you can show to submit another response now the third part is that you can make this as a quiz Please note that within a quiz there are several different options. You can immediately submit it after after completion or you can do it later on. This is not preferable but uh, most organizations who are actually providing an interview questionnaire to the individuals via email they allow such kind of uh, features. The next option are that you can allow respondent to see which questions were missed, what were the correct answers and how many points were scored. Normally this is used for specific purposes and not recommended for all type of forms. Also I would like to tell you that within the presentation you can also write here a confirmation message so that when the respondent has completed the form he or she will receive this confirmation message from Google. 
and your this will be confirmation message which will indicate that the form or the number of questions are now completed and the response is recorded as you can see that uh, the default message is your response has been recorded you can always use the same message for many purposes so these are the three different categories within the form settings and they can be used as per requirement please make sure that you have liked our youtube channel and we'll continue uh, with the same uh, series for now as uh, there are a couple of options left like for example we would like to tell you how the form can be shared or how these tools can be used more effectively also we will be uploading a summarized video for all these topics uh, in case you just want to go through rapidly through all these options so stay tuned and make sure that you have clicked the subscribe button thank you